Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2019 Ford Ranger, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Kurt trailer hitch receiver. Many of our Ranger customers use their trucks not only to carry accessories like a bike rack or cargo carrier, but they also use them to do quite a bit of towing. And this hitch is going to be the perfect solution to allow you to do that. Now compared to another hitch, this one is going to be just a little more visible. The receiver tube is going to come just a little bit further out, but in my opinion, it's still going to look really good. Since it does come further out, it's going to be a lot easier to get all your accessories either connected or disconnected. And it's also going to give us some pretty good clearance here from the back edge of our bumper. Since this is a class three hitch, it's going to have that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. And it's also going to have a reinforced collar for extra strength. It's going to utilize the standard 5 8 pin hole. Now keep in mind, a pin and clip does not come included, but if you need one, you can find it here at eTrailer. Safety chain openings are going to be a loop style, and they're going to give us a little bit of room, not a ton, but enough to use just about any size hook that we might have. Now when it comes to the hitch's weight capacities, it's going to have a 900 pound maximum gross tongue weight rating. So that's going to be the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. So that's more than enough to use pretty much any accessory that you would want to. For the maximum gross trailer weight rating, it's going to be 6,000 pounds. So that's going to be the amount of weight that's pulling on the hitch. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it. Now this can be used with a weight distribution system, which is a separate component. But if you are using that, the maximum gross trailer weight rating increases to 8,000 pounds, but the maximum gross tongue weight rating does remain the same at 900. Now I do like to point out, it's never a bad idea to check with your Ranger's owner's manual to see how much weight your truck can carry. Now I'm gonna give you a couple of measurements and you're gonna use these to help figure out which hitch mounted accessories to get. From the ground to the top and side edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be about 19 and a half inches. And you're going to use that to help figure out whether you need to get a ball mount with either a drop or a rise. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it's going to be about four inches. And you're going to use that to figure out if any folding accessories that you might have can be stored in the upright position without contacting the bumper. Now pretty much all the Rangers, especially the ones that I've seen, come right out of the factory equipped with four pole wiring. But if you plan on towing a trailer that has a seven way, I'd recommend getting the T connector harness that'll give you that seven way. That way you can pull that trailer safely. So overall, really versatile all around hitch. That's gonna allow you to get your work done or even have a little bit of fun on the weekend. It's still gonna look good on the back of your Ranger. Now, as far as the installation goes to get the hitch on, it's really straightforward, not complicated at all and shouldn't take you hardly any time. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To begin our install, we're gonna be underneath the back of our Ranger, and we're gonna be working on each one of our frame rails. Since the hitch is going to utilize the factory bolts here, we're gonna to have to take them out, but since some bolts help hold up our bumper support, what we're gonna do is use a clamp and clamp that bumper support to the frame. That way we don't have to worry about it dropping down or anything. So I'm just using a clamp to secure the two together. Like that. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now something I wanna mention from this point on, anything we do to this side, we're also going to do to the other because they're gonna be set up the exact same way. To get these two bolts out, we're gonna grab a 21 millimeter socket and run them out. Before we put our hitch out, what I like to do is take a tube brush and spray down our holes here with some penetrating oil and just clean them out. That way if there's any dirt or rust or debris that built up in there, it'll be nice and clean. Now we can raise our hitch into position and line it up. Then we're just going to use our factory hardware to secure it. 
Now we want to get at least one in hand tight on each side. Then the hitch will hold itself up and make it easier to get the other bolts in. With the hitch now supporting itself, we can go ahead and tighten down all the bolts. Now we can grab a torque wrench and torque everything down to the amount specified in the instructions. And once we have them all torqued, we can go ahead and remove the clamps. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt trailer hitch receiver our 2019 Ford Ranger.